<laughs> All right, y'all, I'm about to do the difference between the American Staffordshire Terrier and the American Pitbull Terrier. The American Pitbull Terrier was established as a breed by the United Kennel Club in February 1898. American Dog Breeders Association was established in 1909. On June 10th, 1938, the AKC opened up their stud books for a new breed, the American Staffordshire Terrier. This name was chosen because the ancestors of these American Pit Bull Terriers were called Staffordshire Terriers in Staffordshire, England, and known as Staffordshire Terriers in Ireland and other places throughout the world. The AKC stud book will remain open until the 1970s. By the 1970s, these docile show dogs would have way different genetics than their ancestors, making these animals amazing family dogs as they adopted the name Nanny Dogs. However, the American Staffordshire Terrier's close relative, the American Pit Bull Terrier, would, would become pound for pound the greatest fighting dog or pit dog breed to ever exist. After 1970, the UK Steed still had open books to register AKC American Staffordshire Terriers as American Pit Bulls. By the 1970s, the Floyd Poudreau or Eli bloodline was well established as it was created in the 1930s with Blind Billy and Eli. Along with it, what is now known as the Old Family Red Nose, the oldest bloodline of American Pit Bull Terriers, William J. Leitner, Corvino, Bob Hemphill, Jake Wilder, McCoy, Freely, Gaines, and Norod. Many other dog men that I left out in this list. But the list goes on, you guys understand. The problem with UKC registering American Staffordshire Terriers as American Pit Bull Terriers in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s resulted in the confusion of the difference between the two breeds. A lot of people still believe to this day that they are the same breed. However, that's based off of opinion and a lot of people argue it's a big controversy between the American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Staffordshire Terrier. However, there is a difference. And the difference can be seen just by looking at the standards of the breeds. The American Pit Bull Terrier it is a fault for a dog to be all white or blue. It's a fault. The reason why it's a fault to be blue is because there has never in history been a grand champion registered American blue dog. So with titles, if you're breeding for American Pit Bull Terriers, blue dogs, I mean, there's never been a grand champion registered American blue dog. So you're breeding away from the pit bull standards. However, the American Staffordshire Terrier is the exact opposite. The American Staffordshire Terrier, if a dog has a red nose, it gets limited registration and is a cool with AKC. It cannot be registered. The offspring off of a, a liver dilute, also known as a red nose or a lilac, cannot be registered with an American Kennel Club. So these crossbreed American Pit Bull Terriers and American Staffordshire Terriers that were registered with the United Kennel Club in the year 2013 became their own breed of themselves, the American Bully. So in present day, it makes it a lot easier for us to understand what the difference between an AKC American Staffordshire Terrier is, a UKC American Bully, and an ADBA American Pit Bull Terrier. Yo, shout out to my subscribers. Thank you guys for watching.